Are you like me? Do you really hate debt? I just don't like having a mortgage or a car payment hanging out there. I've had them most of my adult life. And unfortunately, mortgages and what you're paying for your home is going to be the highest bill that you're probably going to have. Now, you know, two or three years ago, you could get a mortgage for like 3%. Now, mortgage rates are well north of 7% on average. That means that you're paying a whole lot more in interest if you take out a loan today as opposed to someone who took it out several years ago. So the question then becomes, does it become more sensible to pay off your mortgage early now than it did previously? Well, that's what this video is about to investigate. So if that is something that is interesting to you, be sure to stay tuned. So as I've shown in the video right up here, the amount of interest that you're going to pay in a given month is based upon the balance that you still have outstanding at a 7% rate for every $100,000 that you still owe on your loan, you're going to pay $583.33 for that month. As you pay that balance down, the amount of interest that is going to come from your payment goes down with it. The amount of principal that you pay on each month is going to go up accordingly. To give you an illustration of how this might work, I've gone to this total mortgage website. They have an extra payment calculator, and that gives you an idea of how much you might be able to save in interest by paying down your mortgage. So I have here a $200,000 mortgage for a 30-year term and an interest rate of 3.25. You can't get that today. Your interest rate is going to be around seven and a quarter percent rather than three and a quarter percent. But, you know, a couple of years ago, this was pretty common. So if you pay that off at the standard rate, it's going to pay $870.41 per month. And it'll pay off in 30 years and you'll pay $113,348.55. So I've put in here an extra payment, a monthly payment of $250. And if you make that each and every month, on, in addition to the $870.41, that will bump you up to, what would that be, uh, $1120. That would mean that you're going to pay an extra $61,000 uh, in terms of principal. Your interest that you pay is going to actually drop by $39,698.90. Your loan term would become not a 30-year loan, but a 20-year and six-month loan because you'd save nine years and six months off of your repayment term. So you can save money on a low-interest loan by paying early. I hope you're finding the video informative. If so, please just go down and gently tap that like button and hit the subscribe button if you've not already done so. Um, it'll help the channel out a lot, help us out with the YouTube algorithm that everybody talks about, and it'll get this out to more people. So anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll get back to the video now. So now we're back to the total mortgage mortgage calculator, and I've got another scenario up here. Most of the parameters are the same. We still have a $200,000 mortgage. We still have a 30-year term, and we still have added $250 per month to the principal payment. The only difference is we've raised the interest rate from 3.25% to a 7.25% interest rate. So at a seven and a quarter percent interest rate, your monthly payment's going to go up from the 800 and some odd dollars to nearly $1,400. So you're about $600 more going towards the mortgage every single month now compared to a similar loan just about a year and a half ago. The total interest that you're going to pay has gone up to $291,000 plus, and it was just barely over $100,000 before. So we've increased that by something like $180,000 of interest that's going to the bank if you pay that off. And it'll pay off in 30 years in August of 2053, because this is September of 2023 when I'm recording this. So if we add those 250 extra dollars per month, prepaying the principal and dropping the amount that we owe, we'll drop the interest that we have to pay, uh, we will add $57,250 of extra principal 
through the prepayments, which is actually less than it was before. But keep in mind, the mortgage payments are higher because of the high interest rate. The total interest that you will pay under the new scenario, adding those $250 per month at a 7.25% interest rate, it will save you $169, almost $170,000 in interest cost. Your payoff date will drop from August of 2053 to October of 2042, which makes it a 19 year and three month mortgage payoff, as opposed to with the lower interest rate where it was a 20 year and six month payoff. I guess the moral of the story is get yourself a mortgage with a three and a quarter percent rate. That's impossible today. Um, it's around 7%, 7.5%. 7 Those are the cards you're dealt. Um, but it does apparently make a lot more sense to pay extra on the mortgage today than it did a couple of years ago. If you had one of those really low mortgage rates, uh, you will, if you pay early, get ahead of the amortization schedule. You'll save a lot of interest. If you pay off your mortgage, you'll sleep a lot better at night because you won't have that debt hanging over you. There are some caveats though that you need to think about. It may not make a lot of sense if you think you are in an unstable industry. Uh, if you don't have any liquidity in other areas, then you probably don't want to prepay the mortgage. You'll want to save up an emergency fund of six, nine, 12 months or more. Uh, you want to invest in retirement as well. But if you have extra money available on a monthly basis to pay and put towards the mortgage, it can make a lot of sense. Keep in mind that paying off the mortgage early Paying down that principal saves you interest costs and you get an automatic return that's equal to your mortgage interest rate. So at a 3% interest rate, your guaranteed return is not that great. You'd be better off putting your money into a high yield savings account. There are several out there that are paying four five percent in a money market account or a cd so you could actually make more interest on your savings than you would save on mortgage interest and then if the interest rates drop and you're not getting any payment there then you could put the money towards the mortgage and come out ahead if you have the 7% mortgage, it can make a lot more sense to pay it down more quickly because you have that automatic 7% return or 7 point whatever percent return. Now, you may wonder if you can get more on the stock market. You theoretically can. The S&P 500, for example, experts always say, hey, it returns 10% per year. That's on average. There are years that it's down. There are years that it's up. So you may get a negative 20% return on your money this year and a positive 20% return the next year and still not be back to even. Uh, so that paying down the mortgage, it reduces your risk if you've paid off the house and you've gotten that return. Now, it does hurt liquidity, as I mentioned before. So you do want to have some cash and investments on the side somewhere you do want to re uh, retire and you want to put money towards retirement funds so that you'll have that available for later. If you have a long time horizon, the stock market's great because it's generally an upward and rightward trajectory over the long haul. So you'll probably come out ahead, but in the short run, you can actually do a lot better uh, saving on interest on the mortgage. And then when you've paid it off, you can just throw your mortgage payment into your investments. Obviously what you choose to do is up to you, but hopefully this video has given you some food for thought. It's helped you to figure out whether it may make sense to pay off your mortgage early, depending on where you are today. You may not have the wiggle room in your budget to actually pay early and that's fine. Just keep paying the payments that you have. Make sure that you're saving for retirement and you have an emergency fund as well. I would recommend that. Um, so anyway, I hope it's been beneficial for you to watch this video. Again, if you found it useful, be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button and the notification bell. I appreciate you sticking through it and watching and God bless and have a good day.